Now that we've looked at the sine, cosine, and tangent functions based on our unit circle, we're going to actually look at the graphs. Okay, so the first one we're going to look at is the sine of x. And I'm going to show you on Desmos, and then we're going to talk about some of the characteristics, and we'll write those down next to the sine of x. So if I'm looking at Desmos here, and I've got the sine of x. Now, when I'm looking at this, I can see that it starts at 0. And these values don't necessarily match up. And the reason why they don't necessarily match up is because they are dealing with, um, they're, they're doing the graph of sine in radians. Okay, so if I were to say x equals 2 pi, notice here that I've gone through one whole wave function. So this is based on radians, and this is showing you, and remember that 0 to 2 pi gives you the full 360, okay? And this is what our values are based on. And what this is doing is, based on your unit circle, you know all those sine values that we have exact values for, this is what that's actually plotting. And notice here, the top of this is going to be at y equals 1. And the bottom of our sine function is negative 1. So we can see here that our graph, the domain, domain are the x values, those go on forever. The y values are from negative 1 to 1. So let's write down these characteristics. So the sine of x starts at 0, 0. The domain is all real numbers. The range is from negative 1 to positive 1. And our period length, which is the actual, um, we start at this wave, when does it go back to be the same? So the period length here is going to be 2 pi. full wave, let's not use within, from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so now let's look at the cosine function. This one's going to be a little bit easier to go through since we now have an idea of how this is going to change. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to leave the blue line the purple and the green there. I'm just going to change this out with cosine. So now, notice here our range didn't change, our domain did not change, we can still pick any values, but I start at a different point and my wavelength is still the same because it's still based on our unit circle. Okay, so starts at 0 comma 1. Domain is still all real numbers. Our range is still that negative 1 to 1. And our full wave again is still from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, and again these are all based off of the values that are based on our unit circle. So then last but not least is going to be our tangent function. Um, I'm still going to leave the three values there and we'll see what happens. Uh oh, this looks a little different. I can see here that my range is not going to be affected by that y equals 1 and y equals negative 1, so I'm just going to cross those out. Um, so I still have that 2 pi, 0 here, 
So this must be at pi over, that must just be at pi, because we're cutting it in half. But now notice here, if this is one full wave of a circle, still the same here, I start at 0, 0, and I'm still going to 2 pi. However, I have some vertical asymptote lines. So if this is at, this one here is at pi comma 0, I need to split the difference then between these two values. So if this is at pi, then I probably have a vertical asymptote at x equals pi divided by 2, which we can see there. Uh, let's change the color of that. I don't know if I can. Hmm. x equals pi divided by 2. And then x equals um, 3 pi divided by 2. That gives me that other vertical asymptote line. Sorry, having those different colors actually bothers me a little bit. I'm sorry. You guys know me by now. All right, so if I'm looking at this, we've got a point. We start at 0. Our full wavelength is here. This we know is at pi. This one's at pi over 2 and this one is at 3 pi over 2. So it's still, again, based on our unit circle, this is how we denote our graph. So with tangent, we start at 0, 0. Domain, our domain isn't necessarily all real numbers. So that's where our vertical asymptote lines came into play. So it was pi over 2, so that's 1 half, and then we added another 1, right? So realistically, this goes from pi over 2 plus 1 n, whatever our n value is. If it's, if I'm adding 1 pi or 2 pi or 3 pi or whatever. Um, our range, though, our range is still, this one is all real numbers. Um, and we still have a full wave from 0 to 2 pi. And we have some vertical asymptotes. Um, so we had one at x equals pi over 2, x equals 3 pi over 2. If you keep going, x equals 5 pi over 2. This is just going to keep going on and on forever. I'm going to rewrite this um, domain here. We're going to go with 1n pi because technically you are adding a pi. Um, just to make sure that we're okay. N represents, you know, how much we're actually adding on. Whether, again, like I said, whether it's that 1 pi, 2 pi, or 3 pi, etc. Um, so, based on this, we have some information based on our graphs here. And they're just going to ask you, you know, find the domain and range, which we've already kind of talked about. Um, the full wave from 0 to 2 pi, this is what we call our period length. And this could change. Um, and we'll talk more about that later on when we're looking at different graphs and how we can alter our graphs based on our numbers. But, like I said, these are all values just based on our unit circle and this is just the graph of those.